Hey guys, so we have created our Anansi web. We have added color to our Anansi web. Now we're going to make Anansi himself. So when we look back and we look at the different images that I've given you, first of all, Anansi's two different shapes and he has eight legs. So what I want you to do is with scrap paper or notebook paper, I want you to build an Anansi spider. So what I'm going to need to do first for my spider is I'm going to need to make my eight legs. So I'm gonna give my Anansi spider, here we go, ready? It's one, two, I'm going to cut long skinny rectangles and I am actually cutting two of each of these because I want my Anansi spider's legs to move. Well, not actually move, but to bend as he moves around. So that, let me move in this and come back to my blank web. So I have cut lots of little skinny rectangles. Those are going to be my legs. Now, and I'm looking because I don't have glue right here. Yes, I do have glue. See, this is why you always check your materials first. You do not need to use liquid glue if you do not have it. It is fine. I'm going to cut the shape I would like for my Anansi head. And I actually do like the triangle for Anansi's body. So I'm going to borrow that idea. So I have all of my parts. I have my head and my body and my legs. So first I'm going to build, I'm going to attach my head maybe if I actually opened my glue, tiny, tiny dots. Remember when we glue things together, we don't need a lot of glue just enough to make them stick. And the more glue we use, the longer we need to let it dry. So I'm actually going to do one, two, three, four. Because along my side, I'm going to add my Anansi's legs. So one, These are harder to pick up. Two. Three, four. Because spiders have eight legs. I need to do four on the other side. One, two, three. Attach my spider's legs to three, four. So I have eight legs attached now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. Oh, I am recording it. Okay, I was a little bit concerned at first. Sorry guys, I had to double check. Oh, I've had enough problems with getting the technology and everything else to work. So, sorry about that. Okay, so I have my head, my body, my eight legs. I'm now gonna think about some other details. I think I want bends in my legs. Two, three, four. So I'm going to make some smaller pieces to add on to my legs. Let me add for the bottom part one small. 
teeny tiny dots. Come here, Winnie. Winnie, 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 Winnie. My daughter rescued a dog. So the puppy is staying with us for a few days before he goes to live in a really nice farm with a friend of mine. But he's kind of getting into stuff. Let me add my legs. If he comes over here, I will show you because he is really fuzzy and really cute. But I'm going to add all of my Anansi spider legs. Now the other thing is Anansi himself has the headband and we have different designs and patterns. So do you remember when we added all of our designs and patterns to our Anansi spider web? We're also going to take a minute to do that with our Anansi himself. Oh, see, I did not hold it down and let it dry long enough and now Mine's moving all over because I tried to flip it over too soon. There we go. Ready? Come here. Come here, Winnie. Come. Come on. Come on. Do you come see my first graders? Come on. They'd be so excited to see you. Hold on just a minute. Here we go. Sit. Good boy. Come here. And then you have your treat because that was a good boy. Do you say hi? See, isn't he adorable? He's so sweet and he's so smart and he's so lucky. He's going to go stay at a farm with all my friends. Yes, you are. Okay, so that was our super, super excitement. Thank you for seeing my first grader. Here's your treat. That was a good boy. Go ahead. Take your treat. Okay, so... We're going to finish up our Nancy spider. Sorry. I had to show him he was so sweet and he really needed a little bit of attention. And as soon as I get done, I promise I will go play with him. So I, instead of cutting out, I'm going to draw my Nancy headband and add some different designs that way. I can also add some patterns and designs to a Nazi's legs or you can just add some color. It is up to you or a Nazi can just stay as he is. And you add him onto your web. So when you are done with your Anansi and all of your designs, you are going to add Anansi onto your spider web. And that is it. All right, my friends, have a really, really good time making your Anansi spider to add to our Anansi spider web. Oh, if I add that to the one with a black and white design, see how well that stands out? <gasps> Fantastic. All right, guys, have fun with a Nancy. Remember, you can always go back and watch the video that has the designs and patterns and information at the beginning, along with all the designs in a Nancy's web. All right, have fun. Bye.